point two, they uh, say choose the method that you use. Uh, we've got um, factoring. Okay, and then uh, part of that would be setting each factor equal to zero. So we get one side to be zero. Factor the quadratic into two, two factors, and then setting each factor equal to zero. Um, we can uh, use the square root. Use the square root of both sides. You know, and it's kind of a sub set of that would be completing the square. to uh, multiply that out, right? x plus 13 times x plus 13, then we'd have to subtract 25 from both sides to get zero, the factor, and then it would be a big hassle. Using the square root is pretty, pretty fast. It's set up for that method to be used. So any of these could be used, but the square root turns out to be easiest, fastest, simplest. Other questions? As with the previous one, any of the methods, well, most of the methods probably could be used. Maybe not factoring, but uh, then again, maybe factoring. Um, looking at it, do you want to use factoring or square roots, or completing the square, or the quadratic formula? Which seems to be you take the square root? If you want to get rid of that negative 2, should be add 2. Divide by negative 2. That's negative 2 times x squared, so we'll divide by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So x squared equals 16. <coughs> some other way and took some other method, it would have taken a little bit longer, but you still should get the same answer unless you do something incorrectly. Uh, and all the methods will come out the same answer. Any other questions? quadratic formula is first we have to have a, in this case w, so a w squared plus b w plus c equals zero. So it's got to be equal to zero. Right. So we'll subtract w on both sides and subtract 6 on both sides. We have minus w. Well, if we subtract 6, we can subtract 6 from 4, so we get negative 2. 
If you have it written in order, w squared, w, and then, and then the constant from descending powers, order of descending powers. And this is our a, this is our b, this is our c. Okay. So a is 5. What's b? C is negative 2, so we just throw everything in there, not x, w, solve it to w. Uh, negative b, so negative b, which we said is negative 1, plus or minus the square root, b squared, so it's negative 1 squared, minus 4 a c, 2 times Make it minus the square root of 41. We get the other solution, negative 0.54. that everything here, right, everything in the numerator is in the numerator, that your line goes under the whole thing. Everything gets divided by whatever this turns out to be. People have a, a tendency to let that line shrink down and only go underneath the square root. I'm not sure why they want to do that, but it's a pretty common thing to do, so make sure you don't do that. If you have questions, then Go ahead and ask him if not, then just put everything away. Alright, so uh, it says to use the quadratic formula. Um, all we need to know what are A, B, and C. So um, what's A? quadratic formula over there, even negative b. So negative, negative 10, plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. So we get positive 10 plus or minus the square root of 100. Um, we got a negative 10 to the positive and the negative that's going to come out positive when we multiply these two numbers together. Uh, 16 times 5, that's 80. actually take the square root of it and find that out. But 180 doesn't have a nice square root 
we wanted to get into it, which I don't expect you to do. We could do like, let's see. Six times five. This is a property of uh, square roots that we can split them up like this. Ten plus or minus the square root of thirty-six is six. Okay, now ten and six and eight all have a factor of two in there, so we could do five plus or minus three root five over four. We just cancel out the two there, the two there, the two there, and we'll wind up with five plus or minus three. Be fine, or if we find the decimal answers, those would be great as well. So, n plus square root of e divided by 8.93. Bring that up. method of your choosing to solve the following equation, what method might we choose to use? It's be the fastest thing, I think. Square root, okay, square root, yeah. First, before we take the square root, we got to get the square thing by itself, which means we do what? What's that? Add six. Add six. Add six. X minus five squared equals 16. Sides, x minus 5 equals plus or minus 4. x equals, we're going to add 5 to both sides. So 5, positive 5, plus or minus 4. Right, that gives us 9, or 1. Okay. As long as we get the solutions 9 or 1, you know, this is open ended. You can do it either way, any way you want it. There's at least four ways that we discussed to solve these quadratic equations. The square roots, that we'd argue, is the fastest way we could do this one. Score that out of eight. I'm coming to record those. 